Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to give you my test results for my experiment with the Marvel Mystery Oil. I wanted to know if this stuff would give my car better gas mileage. So it, it took a little bit longer to uh, complete this test because I wanted to make absolutely sure that I didn't cross-contaminate my test results with my last uh, fuel treatment, the Lucas fuel treatment. So back in uh, July 1919, I uh, bought my first bottle of this Marvel Mystery Oil. And this is a 32 ounce bottle. I got it for $3.88 at Walmart. And this will treat approximately 80 gallons of gasoline. So I finished that bottle and then I bought a second bottle on September 26, 19. And I've used approximately half of it. So that means I've got 120 gallons of gasoline treated with this Marvel Mystery Oil through my 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis. So yesterday I got out and I did my test loop to get my uh, miles per gallon rating and this stuff worked for my application. Uh, before I get into that, uh, I want to talk about four things. Uh, the first thing will be my results of course. Uh, the second thing, I want to talk about my uh, test conditions. Uh, third thing, I want to get into a dangerous topic and give you my opinion on why this stuff works. And then fourth, I want to throw a monkey in your wrench and uh, talk about uh, this stuff over here. Okay, so getting into my results. I, uh, when I got this car, I did my very first baseline on February 19th of this year and I drove uh, 172.7 miles and I filled up with 6.58 gallons of gasoline which gave me a 26.246 miles per gallon and then on uh, July 15 after I had run about uh, four or five tankfuls through of this Lucas fuel treatment. I did another uh, test loop and on this time I did 130.3 miles. I filled up with uh, 4.681 gallons which gave me a miles per gallon rating of 27.835 miles per gallon. And then so once I completed that, you know, I got on to the Marvel and the Marvel yesterday I did 113.1 miles and I filled up with 3.968 gallons, which gave me a mile per gallon rating of 28.503 miles per gallon. So it looks like the MMO did just a, a shade better than the Lucas. And uh, right now, uh, I want to talk about uh, a very good point that a viewer brought up on my Lucas uh, experiment. And uh, this is from Jack Tanhill Promoter, and this is a comment he left. He says, your test is not accurate. You can't compare February results with July results. You'll always get better fuel economy in the warm summer weather than in cold winter weather. And then this is my reply. I'll read this to you. Gosh darn it, you're absolutely right. I had a feeling someone was going to bring this up. When I performed the first baseline mile per gallon test in February, I waited until 1 p.m. to drive my test loop. Fortunately, the warm California weather was cooperating that day. I monitored the temperature during the drive and it varied between 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. When I drove the same mile per gallon test loop to check the results of the Lucas, I did my drive at 9 a.m. I again monitored the temperature during the drive and it varied between 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. I knew the temperature would be a factor so I tried to duplicate the test and remove as many variables as I could. I even made sure the tire pressures were identical and the car was carrying the same amount of weight. I even drove with identical settings on the climate control system. I failed to mention this in the video because I knew most people don't think about those things and I tend to ramble in my videos 
making them already way too long. But you called me out on it, so I guess I'll mention it in the during the results for the MMO I'm currently testing out. Thanks for the comment, Chuck. So, uh, good for uh, Jack Tanhill Promoter that called me out on that. And um, I also uh, kept an eye on the wind speeds uh, on all of my test loops, and uh, I kept those to 5 to 10 mile an hour uh, wind speeds, so I don't have any uh, strong headwinds or tailwinds. And uh, I always pump at the uh, same gas pump to remove that variable out of the car, or to remove that variable out of the test. Okay. So, uh, real quick, I want to give you my opinion on why these uh, additives work in the first place. And I've done a, a little bit of research online. And the one thing I keep coming back to is MTBE. Uh, MTBE, uh, mutyl, thetyl, butyl, ethylene, or whatever it is. Uh, it was banned around the year 2000 because of uh, safety concerns and uh, it was replaced with ethanol and uh, basically what those two things the reason why they're added into gasoline is to uh, increase the octane rating which reduces uh, engine knock you know piston knock or rod knock and so when they banned the MTBE they introduced the ethanol and the ethanol is uh, effectively uh, drying out our fuel and increasing its uh, corrosiveness. So all of these additives, what I think they're doing is they're adding uh, lubricity and they're in a way uh, counter-affecting uh, the negatives of the, of the added ethanol. Okay, so moving on to four, uh, to throw a monkey in your wrench, uh, in doing my research with the MMO and the Lucas, I uh, stumbled upon this product right here. Now this product right here is called Outboard Engine Oil. And the designation is called TC-W3. Now what that means is uh, the TC stands for two cycle. And the W stands for... Um, uh, watercraft, yeah, uh, water, yeah, I think watercraft engines, uh, out, outboard uh, watercraft engines, and then the three is the third generation of the formulation of this oil. So uh, this is very similar to uh, two-stroke oil that you'll put in your uh, chainsaw or your weed whacker or uh, your your other typical small engines. And so I've, uh, I've done some research on this, and I found a, uh, a YouTuber, and uh, his name is uh, D.E. Nichols. I'll put the link down below. And uh, he is a strong proponent of this uh, Lucas uh, fuel treatment. And what he said this did for him is that, of course, it uh, raised his gas mileage. And then two things it did for him, he was having an issue with internal rust in his gas tank and uh, premature failure on fuel pumps and this uh, helped him out so he really liked it but he found out about this stuff and this stuff uh, gave him the same uh, lubrication properties and it gave him the same uh, mile per gallon increase but the reason why he started using this is because it's much much cheaper uh, the second place I found uh, information on this uh, product is on a forum board and uh, uh, the, the name of the person who started the thread is called Sarge and so uh, I'll put a link down below to this and this guy Sarge um, he gives a, a, a very detailed thorough breakdown of how this stuff works why to use it and the pros and cons and the benefits so uh, I'm going to be looking into this. I'm going to be uh, maybe testing this out. And uh, I got this at my uh, local Walmart. It was $14.44 a gallon. And um, so, so com comparing all of these products, I put together a small formula 
how I can get uh, compare apples to apples instead of apples to oranges because all of the all three of these products cost uh, a different price and of course uh, they all have a different mixture ratio and so I've come up with this formula and of course this formula is only going to apply to my vehicle but if you uh, take out the numbers and just plug in your own numbers you'll be able to see uh, what the possible uh, benefits and cost savings are on your application whether what type of car you have how many miles of driving you do and whatnot so uh, right off the bat so right off the bat on this top line right here uh, the cost of the Lucas the cheapest place I can find it is either Walmart or Amazon and it's approximately twenty four dollars a gallon uh, this MMO the cheapest place I can find it is Walmart and it's uh, fifteen dollars a gallon and this TCW3 oil is you know around fifteen dollars a gallon now here's where it comes into play uh, as directed on the recommended label the Lucas you're supposed to use three ounces of product to treat 10 gallons of gasoline and on the MMO on the back of the label as directed you're supposed to add four ounces for every 10 gallons of gasoline now this uh, TC oil TCW3 oil you only need two ounces for every 10 gallons of oil so this is a much uh, more concentrated mixture and I got my calculator out and I calculated the mix ratios so for the Lucas, you're running uh, 427 parts of gasoline to one part of Lucas. And by contrast, the MMO, you're running 320 parts per gasoline for one part of MMO. Now look at the TCW3. On this, you're only running, or you're running 640 gallons, or 640 parts of gasoline to one part of TC oil so this is a much much leaner mixture compared to this MMO this is a very rich mixture and so um, this is the formula that I've got with my car to calculate the possible fuel savings so let's say if I drove 15,000 miles a year and I got 28.5 miles per gallon it means I would be using 526 gallons of gasoline for the year. Now, with uh, these, oh yeah, so let's skip down to here. So with with my baseline, with using no additives, I would be using uh, 571 gallons of gasoline. And right now in California, we're paying four dollars a gallon, about, and so I would be spending. Two thousand two hundred eighty-four dollars. Now, with the MMO, I would be getting twenty-eight point five miles per gallon, so I would only be using five hundred twenty-six gallons per year. And uh, at that four-dollar rate, I would only be spending two thousand one hundred four dollars per year. So I'd be saving one hundred eighty dollars a year on gas, and this MMO product is going to cost me twenty-six dollars to treat that amount of gas so my adjusted annual savings would be a hundred fifty four dollars now big whoop you know what are you gonna do with hundred and fifty four dollars a year you know not much well you know just put it back in your pocket so um, I wanna come back up here and look at the additives uh, for my vehicle for one year of driving at fifteen thousand miles I would need hundred and fifty seven uh, ounces of Lucas which would cost $29 a year. Uh, the MMO, I would need 211 ounces to treat that amount of gas, and that's $25. And this TC stuff, if this stuff does work, uh, I would only need 105 ounces for the year, and it would only cost me $11. So the TC does offer a uh, bit of a cost savings if it works. I still don't know if it works or not, I still don't know if it's even safe to use in my vehicle because uh, you know with a modern car with a catalytic converter and an oxygen sensor 
you know, this stuff uh, might have detrimental effects, but based on what I'm reading online, uh, at this uh, low mixture rate of 640 uh, parts to one, uh, it really doesn't become an issue. Okay, uh, so that's it. Uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.